Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen, you're watching Stitch Rip Repeat and today is a review for the brand new release today of the Sadie skirt from the Dressmaker's Closet. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, I just want to apologise if you can hear any noise. It's one of those really weird days here where it's quite warm and muggy, but it's also raining. <laughs> so I've got the window open so I don't get too hot, but you might well hear the rain. So apologies for that. Right, so you already know, I suspect, that I am an ambassador for Jane and the Dressmaker's Closet and that I test her new patterns and share them on my social media content and I try to do a review on YouTube each time. So this time it's the turn of her new A-line skirt. It's a lovely skirt called the Sadie and I'm just going to read off the front what she says. It is a A-line skirt with waistband and zip closure which comes in three design options which includes side pockets, side panels and a ruffle hem. So basically I'll insert pictures because my copy I'm working from was the one I used when I was testing. So I've highlighted and written all over it. <laughs> so I'm going to pop in a picture, hopefully, of the three different styles that you can make, although you can make more than three because obviously you can mix and match. I have made a toile, which was the version with the pockets but no ruffle. And then with the lovely denim that was gifted to me by Minerva for this test, I have made the ruffle version without pockets. So first things first, this comes in a size 6 to 22 and I will just check the measurements for you. So the waist goes from a size 25.6 inches to 39 inches and the hips is from 35 and a half inches to 49 inches. The measurements as they were would put me between a 16 to an 18 for the waist and it would be a 14 for the hips. So I looked then at the finish measurements and the finish measurements for a 16 at the waist was nearly 33 and a half inches and for an 18 it was just over 35 inches now I'm about a 34 inch waist so I went down to the 16 and then I graded down to the 14 for the hips because that comes out at 42 inches for the hips so I didn't have any problems it was nice and easy to grade it's a really straightforward skirt as you probably saw, hopefully, in the pictures I put in, that you can do, the version I've got is one front panel and then two panels for the back because it is a centre seam with a zip for a closure and then a waistband and you can easily leave off the pockets and the ruffles and that's you done. Or it doesn't take much time to add in pockets and ruffles if that's what you're looking at. Haven't tried out the panelled one yet, but I will pop in some photos of Jane's lovely version as I think it's a really nice way to do some colour blocking and to use up some of your gorgeous fabrics because this skirt doesn't take very much fabric. The maximum for the largest size it says is two metres, but I don't think for the majority you need anywhere near that much. I think I used between one and one and a half for the version with the ruffle and everything. So yeah, it's, it's not that fabric hungry, so it's a great skirt. I started off with my toile, as I said, that was the version with the pockets and no ruffle. And I will pop in photos, but this is the finished version. This is a gorgeous linen-like fabric that I got from So Affordable Fabrics. And my plan is to make a little top to go with it so that it looks more like a dress, because I think that'd be really nice in this fabric. As you can see, um, I'll probably pop in photos, but I did do the pockets, which were really straightforward and are really lovely. As I say, it has a zip at the centre there, which is an invisible zip in, zip in the instructions, but you can use any zip, whatever you, your preference is. It has a straight waistband, which encloses that zip. So the zip you install halfway up the waistband then you fold the waistband over to enclose it nicely at the top and that is it that is your gorgeous a-line skirt so it's a really quick sew 
And like I say, if you missed out the pockets, it'd be even quicker, but it takes no time at all. And I loved how this came together. The hardest part for me was the zip. And that's because I've not really done, in fact, I've, before this, I've done no zips on garments. I did one on a cushion like eight years ago. Part of the point of testing is to bring up any sort of comments or issues you have. Now, as a regular sewer who hasn't done many zips, I did suggest to Jane a few more instructions would be useful. And I think as well as doing that in the final version, I think she was planning on doing a video so you'll be able to see visually, which will be fantastic because the zip finishing for this skirt is wonderful and I love the way it comes together. So that was my twirl. And then, as I said, this is the fabric that Minerva kindly gifted to me. They offer all of us testers the um, chance to get fabrics from their website to do all of Jane's tests, which is very much appreciated. I will pop in the description below the link to this fabric. I can't remember the exact name of it. If I look it up, I'll pop it on screen, but it will be linked below. It is this gorgeous black denim. And hopefully you'll be able to see from the photos that I've left this one pocket free, but I have, I'm hoping you can see, I have added that gorgeous ruffle at the bottom. That probably took the longest <laughs> because it's quite a wide skirt at the bottom because of the lovely A-line shape. So there's a long strip for the ruffle, which you need to then gather up. Um, but I quite enjoyed that. I did a bit of gathering while watching some of my favourite YouTubers and that passed the time, no problem, and then sewed it on and voila, this really lovely skirt. So I styled this one with a little cropped cardigan and I think I really like the way that little fitted crop tops look with this style. I also, as I said, would like to do a top to go with this one because then I think it would look like a dress. And I think there's so many things you can do with the three varieties that are in the pattern that it's really good value for money. So talking of that, I have a little code for you, which I will pop on the screen and I will put it in the description below. In the description, I will also put my affiliate link for Jane's website. And if you do like what you've seen and you want to pop over and get it for yourself, I would really appreciate if you could use my affiliate link and obviously use that code to get 10% off. That is valid only on the Sadie skirt and for the month of July. But the affiliate link means that I will get a little bit of commission for sending you Jane's way. However, of course, it will cost you no extra. And if you use my discount code, you'll actually save money. So I really enjoyed testing this one. I always enjoy testing the patterns. I have seen lots of the other testers have done uh, videos and they've put pictures on their Instagram. Do go check them out. If you are on Instagram, there's lots of versions that Jane's sewn up already. So go check them out. And if you like what you've seen, please go and take a look at the website. And I'm sure as well as this pattern, you will love lots of Jane's other patterns. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my version and I look forward to seeing all your versions. So that's it for now. I do hope you're enjoying something sewing or sewing related and I will catch you all in my next video.